Shalom everyone, this is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shomer, and welcome to the Daily Drosh. Today's Daily Drosh, I want to talk about selective hearing. Uh, you know, it's kind of a comedic standby in regards to marital relationships that uh, husbands have selective hearing, that they only hear their wives when they want to or when it benefits them. But selective hearing is true in all facets and realms of life. I want to bring to your attention the words of Yeshua when he prophesied and was using his body as an analogy for the temple. And he says, I will take this temple and destroy it and, and rebuild it in three days. And so there were those that are around that had selective hearing. They didn't want to hear the prophetic message of Yeshua regarding his resurrection. They wanted to take what he said literally, and they started uh, accusing him of uh, of of wanting to tear down the literal temple that was standing in Jerusalem and his claim of rebuilding it in three days. This incited uh, anger uh, within the uh, Jewish establishment of that day, and that was one of the charges and, and one of the things that they had against Yeshua and one of the reasons why they wanted to kill him. But they refused to listen to Yeshua in his true meaning of that phrase and refused to listen to his disciples and those around him who knew exactly what, what he meant. And that's, to, that's the same today. I know of a ministry in a small village <clears throat> that, has a, uh, that, 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 that deals with um, those that, are, that, are, that have hurts, habits, and hang-ups that are coming out of bad relationships and coming off of drugs and addictions and, and things of this nature. And uh, they're wanting to have a house to where they can have these people who have already been off of drugs and alcohol and addictions for, for uh, 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 a certain period of time and uh, help them to be in a positive place to where they can learn about God, learn about themselves, learn life skills, get the help and the support they need to get jobs, to get housing for themselves, and to be able to stand on their own two feet and get back on their own again. But yet the uh, little village refused um, this, this accommodation because they have selective hearing. When they talked about this housing project, they heard halfway house. And when somebody thinks of a halfway house, they think of somebody who's just come out of prison or somebody that's strung out on drugs or that's trying to kick the habit of drugs or alcohol. And they said, we don't want that in our village. They totally misunderstood. Halfway house is not the same as step-up housing, which this project is. And the step-up housing is already dealing with people who, who have already conquered drugs and alcohol, who have been clean and sober for a certain length of time, and they're ready to step up, step up to the plate. They're ready to take the next step in their life, which is getting uh, uh, furthering their education, getting the, the moral support that they need, and, and to be surrounded by positive influences in order to uh, learn life skills so that they can get jobs and, and look into uh, housing for themselves and so that they can move on. It's a temporary situation, but people kept on hearing halfway house. They kept on thinking that uh, uh, negative elements were coming into the community, and it's only positive elements. So this is a spiritual uh, uh, malady, selective hearing. So when we hear something, uh, whether it's on TV, whether it's from the pulpit, whether it's online, uh, whether it's from you know somebody in the community, family or friends, let's not jump to conclusions and automatically assume we understand or know what they talk, what they're talking about. But let's let's think before we speak and let's analyze what they're saying. And if we don't understand what they're saying or if we think that they're saying something that maybe they're not. You know, it is under our obligation, according to the words of Yeshua, if you have ought against your brother, go to him in private and work it out. Um, and so go to that person and say, hey, this is what I thought I heard you say. Is this what you really meant? And then they can clarify. And then a lot of times we misunderstood or we misheard what they said. And instead of hearing what they said and assuming we know what they said and then further spreading misinformation, that's called gossip. That's called slander. That's called Lashon Haran, the Hebrew, the evil tongue. We can't afford to do that. We need to um, not perpetuate falsehood, but perpetuate truth. And we can't have, we can't afford in this day and age to have selective hearing. We need to get all the facts and perpetuate facts instead of falsehoods, instead of hearing what we want to hear or what we think we heard, and instead truly hearing the truth. 
hey, you'd want the same thing to happen to you. If you said something, you wouldn't want somebody uh, to take what you've said out of context and perpetuate that falsehood. So let's not do that to other people. So let's just be really loving and caring and really patient with other people and give people the benefit of the doubt and approach people if we are confused about what we've heard or said. Um, let's not perpetuate falsehoods, but let's perpetuate truth. Uh, thanks for listening, and go out there and have a great day. Shalom and Shavuot Tov. Thanks for watching. Stay connected by subscribing to our other social media accounts and visiting our website at abrahamsdescendants.com.